Welcome to this video where we show you a little bit of the new features related to COM filter. There is a display which helps you to identify COM filters. There are different ways of display. This is a bar display where the areas of cancellation are marked red and the area of addition is marked green. The whole display is moved with the cursor. By default, the cursor is first cut in the frequency area, but you can also set the cursor on the second one and add something like a shift factor to say, okay, this is the second cut. And you can also put the cursor on the area of addition, so the peak, and say, okay, this is the peak, so where are my cuts and so you can do this and uh, combine everything. On the top you see the delay assigned to this COM filter and the distance calculated from this uh, delay, which might help you to locate the reason for the filters. You see it's enabled shift factor, you can increase the shift factor up to 20 and more, so to check which pattern fits best. Other way of display is uh, the cold area display, which puts the colors in the background. Again, red is dip and green is addition. So we have the same features here, shift factor 2. We can say, OK, use uh, the addition as reference and move the rest accordingly. Furthermore, there is a third way to display it. It's called errors. And as you might expect, it shows uh, errors uh, on the top for the location of addition and on the bottom for the location of the cuts. Again you have all the possibilities like uh, saying this is a peak or adding the shift factor. We can combine different displays and yeah here you see in the features section of the setup we can select different uh, ways of displaying. We can also set a temperature reference for the calculation. Now you see it's changed to feet.